Well, everybody, welcome back to another Rust adventure. And oh my God, I actually got the fucking greatest spawn of a lifetime. No way, dude. That's exactly what we needed. And there's a horse here? No, oh, that's crazy. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna be playing on Happis Island with a couple of my friends. Um, I don't know what this RNG is right now, but we are actually getting some pretty good RNG. What's crazy about this, the reason why I am freaking out about this spawn is because our base is literally being built over here somewhere we got a hell of a spot bro we got a hell of a spot and i need to try to make my way over there as fast as i possibly can to try to secure it because my boy his his game is messing up right now with the download and update and my other friend should be loading in so i'm gonna see exactly where they are i'm gonna get a tree here i'm gonna figure out where they're at right now that is right my friends we're back with another rest adventure except this time me and a couple of my boys decided to take on half this island living right next to the excavator starting off as a trio we didn't know how exactly this wipe was going to go considering excavator is dominated by clans but we thought it would be interesting to try it out and boy does this turn out to be a hell of an adventure however we we're either going to live on the mountaintop or on the island and considering how nice that island actually was we decided that we would try to take that over first so we want that mountain right uh, i think we try to get the island first i'm not gonna lie try to get a tc down on there okay uh, i got the worst spawn imaginable i got top of the map <laughs> well, i'm at the island anyways you are nice Swimming over. Oh shit, that's you, Crossy? No. There's a Crossy guy here. Oh shit. At the island? Yes. Yeah, at the island. I've hit him, I've hit him. I'm out of arrows. Bruh. He's on me, he's on me. I might not secure the spot. I might not secure the spot. There's two dudes on me. Where you at, Octane? Oh, I'm dead. He's swimming over. I got the TC down. They don't have a lock. Where you at, Octane? On the main island. You still fighting them? Yeah. Yeah, he is. There's another dude coming over to you right now. One of them, bow kid went down? There's two of them. There's two of them. Yeah, I'm hit. Alright. On the main island. On the main island. I'm down. So that definitely didn't go as planned and we lost the main island to some other people that apparently had a lucky start as well. Even though I did secure a part of the island, it wasn't the main part that we were wanting, which meant we had to move to our backup location. However, my boy Edge was close and considering he got in late, he decided to focus on cards. And luckily, he was in the area. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Oh yeah, you guys are together. I'm right behind you. Okay, I got team. I'm rocking up to you guys and we'll... Head back here together. I'm dripped out, boys. You got that bow? Oh, uh, yeah. Shame, Bree. You got arrows? You. Uh, I don't. Uh, hi, Key. Let's hit up all these barrels here. Get, might as well. We're uncontested right now. Oh, I see a two by one on the main. With the hazy guy outside. Oh, yeah. I see oh. that. Let's set up a two by one on the mountain. We'll do rig, get tier two, and just fucking molly raid them if they haven't upgraded in time. Let me keep that upkeep on that spot though for a farm. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that little island is gonna be good for a little farm or something. This yeah, this is the spot. Oh, oh, let me get that wood, bro. Let me get a little bit. Oh, of wood, yeah, bro. my fault. Hey, you ain't that shit hella quick, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he smelled the wood. He was like, oh, that's mine, bro. For real, man. What the fuck is this? It's more like a fucking watchtower, buddy. <laughs> yep. It ain't much, but. Yeah, oh. red card's gone. Oh, oh, oh no red. way. We got red, boys. Oh, there's a recycler in here, and I got a second fuse. Wait, there's a, there is a recycler in here. What the hell? There's a kid in front of me. He's running. He might be loaded. Oh, what's up, boys? Hit down. Nice. Nice, good nice. shit, boys. Oh, large battery. A row of fucking stone, bro. Let's get out of here. A row of stone? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a base down there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
After getting the red card and a little bit of a come up, we decided to make our way down to the island to see how the island boys were progressing. And to be honest, it was a lot faster than us. I got horse. Hit him. He's hit, he's hit. He's dead, dead, dead. I got him. Nice, good shit, Why is it? That's crazy, bro. Dude really pulled out the Revy. Yeah. They're in the... here. Oh, they are? I think. Quick. Come out. God damn, you yeah, fucking bitch. Nice. Okay. There's a kid That's in front of us. That guy's pushing with. Oh, he had a semi body, huge. I don't know if there's any boxes. If not, we'll just. Oh, he's, he's just right in the CTC. Nah, like... nah. They are raiding the one by one. I see them outside yeah. the fucking base. I uh, yeah, come through, come through. It. They probably found the satchel in the crib. Um, I think we try to loot abandoned. It's headshot. Yep, yep, yep. I knew this was gonna fucking happen. They're here, bro. Well, it definitely seemed like the island boys didn't want us in the area considering they immediately raided our one by one on the island and is now countering us at abandon. These guys were now on my hit list and in due time, you'll figure out what happens to them later in the story and why it was probably the best idea for us to not build at this island. But first, we just needed to figure out who was living there and I had a pretty good idea who one of them was. I see him on the beach, on the beach, on the I beach. I see him, yeah. Headshot dead! No <laughs> way, good shit. Is he got money or what? Oh, he's fucking loaded. Wait, 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 I, I, I can't, I can't. Oh. He's juiced. <laughs> That's our fucking tier two right there, buddy. Yo, yo. Dang, you saw her. Oh down. my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. You're out of there, right? No. Wait, what? I might be, I think I'm good now. I think I'm good. That is, yeah, that's yeah, huge. It, he's on a horse, but just try to get over the peak of the hill. Bro. You see that dude down there? Okay, he's from. We can three, two, one. We can three, two, one. You ready? Um. He's hit, hit. He's hit. I headshot dead. dead. There's two dead, more. There's dead, two dead, more. Dead, nice. Dead, one more. One more. Oh, shit. Dead, dead. I'm dead. I'm down. I'm down. He's hit. He's hit. He's far. He's far. I hit him. I hit him. Nice. Nice. No way. You got him. I think you got him. You got him. You got him. Holy yeah, shit, you got bro. Him, that him. shot. The shot. It's I Mama Eb. Right. It's the Russians. Here, here. Uh, take, take, take them out. Take them out. Right here, right here. Nice, nice. Good shit, man. Not only did Edge hit a crazy ass shot and killed a guy that was extremely loaded, but I followed up with one of the best crossy shots I've ever hit in my 1400 hours of rest that got us our first guns of the white. And you probably heard Edge mention about them being Mama EB. It's Mama EB, right. it's the Russians. Which is a clan that was on the server that he fought prior to this force white. But unfortunately, they won't be a part of this story. However, who is a part of this story? It didn't take long for the island boys to start trying to come into our territory. Oh, they're expanding okay. down there. Yeah, I saw that shit on the way back. I have six. Oh shit! Oh, I see them. I see them. They're by the by the by the beach. I mean, if they continue, we can cut them off. And we can kill them. Oh, they're coming! They're coming towards the excavator, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're coming up. They're jump. What? One's dead. One's dead. Yeah, right below you, Susanna. On his body, on his body, basically. He's hit, he's hit, Octa. See not, see not dead. He's dead, 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 I got him. Holy shit, you guys are awful. Bro, am I tripping? Is it fucking not as dark outside? Yeah, no, they changed nighttime. There's a. F yeah. You Gucci? It's that Rumble Foreskin? Uh, I don't know who that is. I'm not gonna lie.
cool. I think they're just both kids. I'm gonna take some shots at them. I'm not hitting my shots, bro. You think gonna bait him back? He has a bag on, bro. Like a he crafted that shit type shit. Oh. Okay. They're Careful. with me, bro. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm down. One dead. Where is the other guy? He was right in front of the tower. He's right here, right here, right in front of me. One HP, one HP. Oh shit. Okay, nice. They might be loaded. That has he might be loaded. Yeah, he's juiced. 400, 400 fucking. Yep. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. What are they doing running around with that shit? As you could tell by our voices, it was starting to get pretty late, and this was still day one of fours. But we didn't want to get off until we made a bit more progression to the base and even tried countering excavator once. Considering it was getting late, we were thinking there was a chance of somebody running excavator soon, attempting to try doing it peacefully. And our main reason living next to this monument was to try and counter it anytime it was being ran. And soon enough, it happened. Show. Okay. Countering it. Yeah, I'm pushing down a little bit. Oh yeah, I see one. You do? Where at? Yeah, hey, he's on the left side. Like if you're facing yeah, towards. I see one too. Yeah. Idiots, dude. Why are they shooting me? I killed. I full killed one. Rumble foreskin. Wait, somebody's countering. Yeah. Bro. So you weren't fighting the dudes on the. No. Yeah, they're starting to shoot at the dudes. Those guys are fucking morons. I even crouch, crouch to them, bro, and this guy starts shooting at me with Sar. Yeah, I see him. Wait, I think I just seen. I do. I see a fucking rat over there, bro. <laughs> There's Shit, no way. Yeah. Oh, I see one. He's running back yeah, into excavator. Behind us. But there's one on that red light, bro. Like close to that red light. Double headshot dead. Nice, nice. I think we cleaned them up. This guy's looted. Fucking on me, on me. Just get out of here. Get out of here. You good? You good? No, I'm dead. I'm down. This excavator counter was turning out to be a much bigger fight than we were expecting it to be. And funny enough, it was the island boys that killed me. But even though I died right here, I didn't even have the most important loot. Edge had the goodies on him, and he made it out successful. But as soon as we thought the fight was over, it wasn't. Because apparently people weren't too happy about us coming in and swooping up the rest of the loot that everybody had lost. Yeah, they're not too happy about that one, Chief. Uh, oh, I see the ladder. That. that boy's ass gonna be packed up. Oh, wow, they're shooting at me. They're shooting at you for real? Yeah. One's going inside excavator. By the mountains and shit, like nearest to our base. Yeah, they're both over there. By the trains. Where are they? Do you guys still? Dude, I see somebody on the bodies at, at the big fight. I don't have eyes anymore. Yeah, now. I see one, I see one. One's full dead. Nice. Yeah. On our hill, on our hill. Okay, where is he? On our hill. He was at our hill. I don't know exactly. He was shooting me in the back. He's dead. Nice, bro. I think there was one on excavator as well, by yeah, the way. That, uh might be me are you on like like the ramp yeah. type shit yeah I just okay that all the way. i think that was you then oh brazy i killed him i got two stars nice nice Jeez, okay my inventory looking a little too nice right now brother i can't even lie well if we didn't have enemies now we do <laughs> oh yeah now we can do
and Edge was completely right about this. The Island Boys were not too happy with us with the amount of kids that we have been taking from them. And what's even funnier about this, I'm pretty sure they were the ones trying to take Excavator at this time. However, we came out with nearly a row of guns in this fight, and what's even crazier, we were about to steal even more from them. But first, I had to go rattle the bee's nest. Look at these fucking dickheads, bro. <laughs> you see them down there? Fucking shit stains literally walking around their base. They got a, they now have a camper van. Look at it, they're making an entire fucking. Oh, for real. They got a whole operation going on over there. Oh, I need you to drop me that ladder. Perhaps it's three ladders actually. It's kind of weird though, because our camper van is literally in the open. Can you pick up that lift? Should I be a bitch, get a compound bow, and break their foundations? That's <laughs> fucking bridge. You actually could too. That's yeah, I'm about thing. to. I'm about to. He might call for his boyfriend. Oh, he didn't see me. They're all one hit as well. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn, we sent them back to Prim, by the way. Yeah, it is Pete Vince. I wanted to make sure these guys knew that we wanted the smoke. As of now, we only knew two of them, which was Brazy and Pete Mintz. But we've definitely seen more running around the area. We just haven't figured out the names just yet. However, after trolling this group for a little bit, an airdrop spawned right next to us in between our base and the Island Boys, which means I was interested with seeing if they were going to attempt to try to get their get back. Are you down here? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm dying. I'm not gonna loot it though. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a look and look over the mountain. Uh, it's pretty decent, honestly. He's dead, dead. There's one coming actually. From the island? Yeah, yeah, island boys. Call me. Yeah. It's dead. Nice, one more naked gonna be down. Push, push, push. I see no naked. Wait, this dude? Um, he actually has some shit, bro. Yeah, you got the drop, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm full in, though. We were about 9 hours into forest and we weren't looking too bad at all. On top of this, we were sitting on a pretty nice stash of weapons and honestly just everything. I could say we were definitely dominating our area and more than prepared for the next day. But before getting off for the night, the way that this base design is set up is meant to have a mini farm inside of the actual base itself. I was going to be in charge of this farm and running it so we had a consistent inventory of Ortiz as well as cloth. In my opinion, with us spending a few days on a server as well as realizing that there's a crazy amount of nodes in our area this farm was going to be an absolutely huge boost for our wife and even though that we have been beefing with the island boys and had it in our minds that they were our main enemies unfortunately that statement will change and you'll see why very soon but you will also understand how important this farm actually will turn out to be later in this video all right so after having a crazy ass day today then we're gonna end it on getting a farm set up probably call it a night after that kind of sounds ideal bro but yeah i'm not gonna do too much for me tonight because it's already like 1 a.m. We have been playing for like probably about 13 hours, bro. I'm not gonna lie. So we got on before Force and uh, Force happened a little bit earlier. So yeah, anyway, so I guess it's time to get this thing going, buddy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, somebody's outside, bro. Wait, for real? For real. Yeah, Pete Menace. After getting the basics to the farm set up, somebody started taking excavator again. Wait, that's AKs. So to end the night, me and Edge decided to try to go counter it once again. Wait, these dudes are really trying to do this shit right now, bro. I'm getting shot at that shooting at me. Yeah. Yo, it's the island boys, by the way. Really? It's at the very top. I'm hit. I see him. Yeah, I hit him. He's dead, 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 dead. Yeah. I got bolty. I don't have He's uh I don't have LMG though. You might have stashed it. They were farming sulfur by the way. You got the sulfur? Yep, 2.5k in this one. I'm about to get the other one. Yeah, they were trying to fucking farm so they can offline us. Fucking pussy ass bitches. Yo. I am. Well, from the looks of it, yeah, we're not rated. And my boy Edge is already on. Uh, I made sure to stay logged in for most of the time last night because those dudes were trying to offline us, bro. They were trying to offline us or catch us slipping. I don't know what the hell they were trying to do, but yeah, they were trying to do some shit, man. And I wasn't going to risk it. So I stayed on for a little bit while Edge was on just in case. But I also got notified. Apparently the Island boys have been raided. Edge told me some Zerg went over there and blew their shit in, which is very unfortunate because that was kind of like my main enemy. That was definitely my main enemy. And I wanted to, uh, I really wanted to do something about that. I, and they were fun PVP, bro. They were fun PVP. They were the PVP in our area. Uh, and now they're gone. So it's just like, damn, dude, you know, just really very, very unfortunate. Actually, just a very unfortunate situation. So now I don't know who, I don't really know who's going to be our next enemy, basically. Yeah, so the Island Boys got raided, which left me in a weird position considering how much time we've invested building a story against them, and it was also unfortunate because they were genuinely the main PvP in our area for the first day. And to be honest, with them being gone, this next day was genuinely very quiet considering the server was an average 200 pop and we were in clan territory. However, even though this day was quiet, we eventually will come across our next enemies of the adventure, and this story will start to take a huge curve. Anyways, with this being the case, loading in the next day, I worked on the farm for a bit and then we went to go hit tunnels but don't get it twisted i did say this day was extremely quiet and we may have been logged in for a while but the content was very slim to none so instead of continuing on this day we're just going to pick up on the next to the boys finishing up a car base as soon as i load it into the server are you trying to take that car yeah i got the car so is that our, yeah, there's what is that, our outside. car base? There's, there's two, two of them. guys outside. Yeah. Are they geared? Fuck <laughs> you guys, that was my shot. I got even. Close to you, Edge. Yeah. There's a car, there's a car. Somebody just jumped out, that's I think. A car. The, the, oh my Ju God, bro. Gear people, four of them, four, four. Dude, Edge. My fucking car base about to get raided, man. Come nah, bro, on. there's literally a mini go. Bro, there's this fucking pig on. A mini just went past our base right now. I don't. We're getting raided, bro. We're getting raided. The car base? Yes. Why are they raiding the car base? Fucking freaks, man. Dude, that is like actual like loser shit. I can't lie. Not even 15 minutes into the day and our car base got raided. Matter of fact, Edge literally had just finished building it and literally just stored a car inside of it. I really had no idea who these guys were, but the main name to remember here is MK4. Even though they don't turn out to be our main enemy of the adventure, they do have a solid spot in the story. And this won't be the last time that we come across this group. However, as Edge was fixing up the car base, I decided to take out a pure ORT to farm all the nodes in the area and came out with a stupid amount of farm. By the time we were done, we actually had a stable car base so we decided to take that to military tunnels and see exactly what we can make happen there
Yeah, guy on our- wait, that's the Tona. Up the- oh, you see- oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking pop. What the up. fuck? Here? It's actually fucking loaded. We got a drop box in the uh, car base. This Milton's setup is a little bit different, by the way, with the outside buildings, but it's the same hey, on the yeah, inside. Yeah, I was about to say this. Off oh. because they're in there. Is it? Was that bridge though? Let's take position. Oh, guy in the cave. Full killed. Nice. She had all cards for me. Car. Someone fucking broke it, dude. Boy, that's actually insane, Sorry. bro. That is some of the most cringe shit I've ever seen in my fucking life, bro. Dudes will take the time, like, bro, to actually do that while we're farming tons. Like, come on, bro. Apparently, this adventure didn't want us to have a car. Okay, I get it. And to put the cherry on top, Newly Tons was honestly kind of ass as well. But to say the least, we made it back successful, and at least we got some rifle bodies, which honestly isn't too bad. However, considering we had all the key cards, we decided to go hit oil. But on the way there, we gathered some information that could potentially be beneficial for us in the future. Oh yeah, that was smooth, I can't lie, man. <laughs> So yeah, this closer island, I think the one we're gonna be passing on our left, has a base on it, and I think that base could fucking be loaded on comms. Let's go check out this decay real oh, yeah. quick. Oh, this shit ain't... No way. I don't think this shit... Ooh. Oh, wow. oh. 500 scrap and crude. That's a hit. Not only did we find an absolute gold mine, but Octan also mentioned that this base right here could possibly be loaded and could also be owned by some oilers. So make sure you remember this base because we will be visiting this base soon. With that being said, we sealed up the decayed base so we could grab the loot later and continued our journey to the oil rig. But unfortunately, people were already taking it and our counter didn't really go the best I could say. Damn. But this death honestly was worth it because this next life is whenever we come across something entirely important for the rest of this adventure. Yeah. There's somebody in this base, yes. He's coming out. The guy. I'm dead. I hit him a bunch. There's two of them. I'm lurking out. Trying to get a free kill on one. Is that you? Yeah, I just like the f out, dude. You're dead? No. I won't. Yeah, there's a few in the base. Almost kill one. He's outside the base. Headshot hit. Where are they, Octon? I need you to be like a f***ing drone for me. Like a silver drone. In. The there's one well, by guys. external external they're russian that's their that's the russians bro what the where are you at where'd you at i'm on the left side of the base roof roof dead i think roof dead yeah i can ladder up i can ladder up one sec maybe try to get some shots on the dude on the right so i can heal him oh, i'm doubled no, bro no, no. Drake's Drake's nice. 10 and there's like fucking six kids in that base. I'm so yeah, well, meet Drake's clan. And I'm not going to lie, Edges came across his clan before on his own, but this was my first time truly fighting them. There was at least six people in that base, but we later come to find out that this clan was about 15 to 20 people deep, and we caught them right at their doorstep, building up a main base right next to Excavator. So things were definitely about to start getting really juicy, but until then, we took note of their base spot, and not too long afterwards, Heli came out. So me and Edge decided that we were going to take it, and this is where we meet our new member to our team. Come for blood. 
Yo, what's up, bro? What up? How you doing, man? Oh, I wanna f with these guys over in that base up there. Drain some turrets, you know, cause some mischief. Talking about V20 base? Yes, sir. All right, well, good luck, man. <laughs> Hell, he's out. Shit, for real? For real. It's coming. I tagged it, I hit it. It might come. Hit again, hit again. Hit your AK. Alright, buddy. Buckle the fuck up. Reloading real quick. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. Nice, that's huge. You wanna stay on roof with AK and shit? Uh, yeah, sure. Is your boy got guns? Yeah, he's got like a Sarkin, I think. Oh, he's over here as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Down the hill, down the hill. He's dead, dead. Dead. Yeah, I got him. Any more or just some right now? M2? Oh M2? <laughs> no! They're trolling, bro. Oh, shit. Airlock. Hit him. Nice. Rocket C4. I'm coming back. Nice. No, oh, that's fucking insane, bro. That that's was a juicy. Game. Okay. How far? How close? Really close on this ridge line. One, you got one, one, you got one. Other one is way in the distance. Can you sit out there? It's one from the left. One more place, please. Where's he? By wall? Yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah by walls. Twice, twice. Got his AK, got his AK, got his AK. Okay, there's another one on top of hill, top hill. Hit, hit again, I'm low, I'm low. I'm down, I'm down. It's Drake, bro. Yeah, BLT. Bro, they are so fing many, but they're so bad. Even though we already knew that they were at least a six man, this fight is whenever we really started realizing that there was a possibility this was a much bigger group. And we really confirmed that whenever Octane and Covert got into a pretty big fight with them that I wasn't a part of that was after this interaction. This was definitely the new smoke in our area. And they may have been winning their fights against us right now, but the tables were bound to turn. And we were going to make sure this group knew that we were about business. It was only a matter of time until they started to attempt to take over Excavator. But little did they know, at any point in time we were going to be right there waiting for them making sure that we made their life hell at any given moment of the process what are we doing are we pulling up to this or what kind of down why do we just let them go and then maybe we do a raid since they're still yeah. kind of be distracted that way it's gonna be kind of tough, I think. Should I check I-24 real quick? Yeah. Let me go check that. They built up down here as well. He's on, he's in here, he's in here. Hold up, hold up, close. I'm gonna cross. I'm gonna RP this kid. Don't, don't swim over, don't swim over. I'm already here, bro. Fuck that. Plus, I wanna look up this base, bro. I've never been over there. It's this guy's schizo. This guy's schizo. Is this guy, is this Who is that, my friend? I don't know. Under, I don't understand what no. you say. No, uh, we don't know. Oh, wait, you're talking about Logie? You're talking about Logie and Fong? That is definitely not us, that. bro. That's definitely not us, no. Not us, man. Yeah, y'all, that's so low. My character has nice ass titties. You are fucking lying, bro. God damn. Nah, bro. Those, those dudes cannot be real life. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're kind of nice, so I feel bad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, they are actually kind of friendly. They're about to get fucking drilled, bro. Well, you can't be nice and rust, dude. <laughs> that shit might be loaded, bro. Yeah. 
So after talking to the base owners and analyzing their base, we decided that we were going to go ahead and do this raid considering to the amount of boom that we had. Like I said, we thought these guys were oilers, so we had a strong feeling that this base was going to be absolutely loaded. So with this being the case, we got back to base and prepared ourselves and made our way back over to the island to go through with this raid. Okay, uh, your ladder's on the ground here for you. I'm booming. Okay. He's spawning up there, right? Oh, he's, 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 he's up there, he's up there. He went into the garage, bro. He's in the garage. I'm gonna HP that shit immediately, bro. Okay. You ready to HP it? Hold up. Hold up. HP. I got hit markers. I'm breaching. Doors open. Got C4. Oh my god. Run. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god, bro. This shit is yeah. loaded, bro. This base was absolutely insane and 1000% an Oilers base. It was kind of unfortunate that they went AFK as soon as we pulled it up and what's even crazier about that, it wasn't even 10 minutes from the time that we left their base initially. We came out on top in this raid and grabbed every last drop of juice that we could, went straight back to base just to look at the insane amount of profits that we made. Okay, this is the uh, the raid room. Hold up. Yeah, drop me some wood and I'll uh, I'll craft large boxes. Uh, okay, start filling up this box right here. God damn, man. Yeah. Bro, those comps were fucking disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, pipes for fucking days, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh. What was that? Sounded <coughs> like a heli blew up. Oh. Yeah, we got some I got shooting like a scientist though. That was Low a scientist key. spray. I swear to God, bro. That's crazy. Oh. I just see a guy. Yeah, you're right in front of us. Northeast. Oh, they're heli blue. Three, 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 one Two went left. to the mountain, uh, to our right. Oh, what the fuck? I got just beam me. Okay. Headshot, hit. He's one HP. What? Bro, there's no way my bullets are not connecting, bro. Close, 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 close. close. Wolf Heady is headshot. One close, one close. Oh, fuck. That's, that's not good. I'm both health. I'm headshot. Come on. I'm dead. I drilled one. Another dead, another dead. Two dead over there. Two dead over there. One's coming down the mountain. There's somebody to my right. There you go. AK, meds. There's somebody in the trees by us, by the way. Yep. I'm out of ammo, out of ammo. Do behind, do behind, kill the do behind. Make it, make it. He's dead, dead. Crouching up on the body, he's on the body, he's on the body. I'll see him. Dead, dead. Nice, good fucking shit. Yo, I literally, we literally saw you just fucking into the wall. Sorry on me? 
Good shit, good yeah, shit. I'm going for the star body. I'm going for the star body. I'm going for the star body. Oh, we need to like move type shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna kill body to right here. Oh my god, this dude is loaded. This is Drake. Good shit, boys. Those oh my dudes. god, bro. It was looking yeah, so bad, but we held, bro. We fucking held that bitch. We definitely came out on top in this fight. And I'm going to be honest with you. Winning this fight as a trio gave us the confidence that we could potentially raid this clan. But we weren't going to do it until everybody was on and maybe even get a couple of extra bodies. But to be honest, I didn't wait to farm. We already had a stupid amount of sulfur and boom, but I wanted to make sure that we had enough to raid these guys entirely. However, as I was farming and smelting everything down, I had went AFK for a bit and came back to Edge and Covert being in a big fight at Excavator, and guess who it was? There's a guy coming. There's one more, man. Some fucking dude, this guy was in outpost, man. There's so many full kids there. Still have a good chance to recover in here. Yeah, I'm going Wait, down I think there. I down one. I think, yeah, I down one over there. Full kill, full kill. I hit him, I hit him. Really I hit a Hazzy. You the... hit me, you hit me. Oh shit, my Full bad. killed bro. one. Give me cover, give me cover. I got I you, us. I got you, I got you. What, I killed last. No, 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 one more, no, one no, more. No, no, no. I think I'm gonna try to. You good? He's on the mountain behind me. He's one. Jump, jump. Okay. I jump. He's hit, he's hit. Hit again, hit again. One shot. Nice, one shot. nice, nice. nice, nice. Dude, I'm gooped up. I got like fucking. Naked going on the body? Me. Hit, hit. He might be dead. Full kill, full kill. Fuck you, pussy. Grub me more with a fucking pump. Shit, motherfuckers called me American Sniper back in the day, bro. I had to put that <laughs> shit into work. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, good shit, though. That was, that's a little come up for sure. You wanna know what's crazy, bro? Is that. They was shitting on us at the beginning, right? Until we started getting AKs and bullties and everything that they have, and then the tables just turned on them, bro. And now they're yeah. just complaining and, and bitching and moaning just because we have just been packing them up, bro. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, one outside our base right here. It's Drake, bro. <laughs> it's Drake. Yeah. He's a fucking hazzy, bro. MP5. Oh, I forgot I was first mode. Wait, is that Saros? That's a different guy here. He's at the bus stop. The train station? One above me. Is that one of you at the train station? No, no, that's him. Okay, yeah, I'm pull I'm pulling up on him right now. I'm fucking dead. Double die, double die, double die. He's right in front of you, right in front of you. He's dead, dead, dead. Damn, bro, your fucking body is loaded. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I was, I was trying to go home. <laughs> Dude has like a row of guns on him. You in that backpack for him? Yeah. Well, I can confidently say we've been dominating Excavator this entire adventure. From beefing with the island boys to them getting raided and us switching our focus to Drake's clan and them turning into our main enemies of the adventure, everybody on our team had the same mindset with going all out on this clan. With the way our boombox was looking, as well as the amount of farming I've been doing, we were going to slice through this base like butter. And I know I haven't showed you an updated version of their base from what you've seen previously. I'm still trying to get better at editing Rust videos, so don't mind me. But it definitely got a lot bigger than what you've seen before. However, we had the raid scheduled for the next day. Well, at least that was the plan. Well, boys, I have woke up. I woke up to some bad news, man. I woke up to some bad news. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. You wanna know what's crazy? I was mentioning, I was mentioning that last night, for some reason, bro, I just felt like last night was going to be the night. It's because we have been pissing people off at the end of this adventure. As soon as we started getting AKs, tier three guns, the tables have just turned and yeah, this is unfortunate, bro.
I mean, just sad days, man. This definitely wasn't the best, like, adventure. I'm gonna be honest, it was it was a pretty, like, like the, the start was kind of, like, interesting, hyped, and then the middle was, like, really boring. And then once we started getting AKs and we were, you know, fighting Drake's clan and stuff, which we were going to raid them today, bro. We were gonna full sin raid them today. But yeah, anyways, like... Like I was saying, beginning was like fuego a little bit. The middle part was boring. The end was kind of start picking back up again, bro. Definitely some solid memories. And our base, man. I give it to Edge. He built this thing up. And the farms I did was just so comfy. This was one of the best bases I've ever lived in. 